Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk. Today, I'm going to introduce our web conference paper, Cooperative Memory Network for Personalized Task Learning Dialogue Systems with Incomplete User Profiles. This work is done by me, Jia Huanpei, with Peng Jiren and Martin Dreich. This work is a cooperation work with University of Amsterdam and Shandong University. Here is the overview of this talk. First, we'll start with a brief introduction, including the motivation, why to do this work, and how to formulate the task, and what other research questions we are focusing in this work. Next, we will go deeper to the model de details, including the uh, architecture, dynamic uh, pipeline, multiple hope variant, and how to design the laws to train it more effectively. And third, we'll introduce how to use the data sets and uh, how to evaluate models. Next, we'll see the main results and the analysis. Finally, we summarize some takeaway messages as a conclusion. Intuitively, user profiles are usually incomplete with lots of missing values. For one hand, uh, not everyone is willing to expose their profiles due to the privacy concerns. Or on the other hand, um, user profiles involves too many aspects, which makes it impossible to collect uh, for all, the, all this information. And um, our question is, is it possible to conduct a personalized dialogues with incomplete user profiles in this cooperative uh, paradigm? Just as it shows in the figure, Dialog helps to enrich user profiles gradually, and user profiles improve the dialog vice versa. Then um, let's formulate our task. Then we formulate the task as personalized TDS with incomplete user profiles. So given the dialog context as input, which consists of a, a user profile, a dialog history, and the current user utterances, um, our goal is to select an appropriate response from the candidate sets as an output. So please note that here, um, the user profile is an incomplete one because it is impossible to eliminate all the candidate values in the user profile. And we are focusing these three research questions. First, how well does the COMEMnet perform? Does it significantly and continuously outperform the state of art models? And second, um, what are the effects of these components uh, in the command net? And third, does different user profile attributes contribute differently? Next section, let's go deeper to the model details. Here is the architecture, consists of uh, two cooperative modules. Uh, that is the user profile enrichment module and the dialogue response selection module. And we'll start from the bottom part for each turn, given a um, dialogue context, which consists of a user profile, a dialogue history, and uh, current utterances. And the UPE module works with uh, memory initialization, memory updating, and memory reading process respectively to get an enriched user profile. And uh, this user profile can be used to improve the DRS module and select the better response. Here is the dynamic pipeline. For each turn, um, the model runs in the following steps. First, uh, MI embeds the user profile relations into profile memory. And uh, it's uh, embeds the uh, user dialogue relations into dialogue memory, and also embeds the, the current user utterance into a uh, query memory. Next, MU uses query memory to address the um, profile memory and uh, dialogue memory respectively to get uh, uh, to intermediate memory here. And use this to intermediate memory, we can get an enriched profile memory. 
which can see their both the uh, user uh, profile and also the user dialog. After that, MR use query memory to raise the localized uh, memory slot uh, for the dialog part and for the user profile part. After that, uh, these two information is used to update the Aprilware's query. Last, the DRS used the updated query to match and select the best candidates as a, a correct response. After that, uh, we explore the multiple hope setting of the model. Uh, the stack of the hopes is from uh, line four to line nine. And um, it executes uh, this MU module and uh, MR module for uh, hopes n times. Uh, so in the end, we'll get two distributions. One is the dialogue response di distribution at line 11, and the other one is the profile enrichment distribution at uh, 13. Uh, to optimize the DRS, we use the standardized cross entropy loss of the dialogue response selection task. And to control the user profile enrichment loss, we introduce the element wise mean square loss between the sample the P and the is uh, corresponding enriched profile um, delta P. And the final loss is a linear combination. For data set, uh, we use the personalized Bobby dialog data set with a small and large version. Uh, this is only data set for personalized TDS and no available for our incomplete profile setting. So we simulate uh, the incomplete profile with uh, various of degrees, um, randomly uh, discard some values in user profiles with the probability from zero to 100%. For evaluation, we consider both performance and the stability. Uh, for the former, we evaluated um, by the accuracy of uh, dialogue response selection task and uh, profile enrichment task. And we evaluate the later by a coefficient sigma. This is the standardized deviation of a list of a performance uh, this performance could, could be the RSA or PEA. Great, let's see the main results. Without discussing the user profiles, uh, we compare the results of CoMemNet with the four reported baselines and one re-implemented SOTA baseline. From the results, we can see that CoMemNet outperforms all baselines on both the small and large sets by a large margin. This means CoMemNet can enrich actual information, and this is really helpful with the performance. Next, we discuss user profiles by various extent and compare the results with the SOTA baseline. And we found that uh, first, the CoMemNet significantly outperformed uh, the SOTA baseline on both data sets. The CoMemNet steadily decreases with the increase of a uh, profile this, this cut ratio increase because with discussing more information, the model can not work very well at that case. For stability, um, the SOTA baseline has uh, higher deviations and uh, the proposed command model is more stable. So why does command work? We have the ablation study on profile enrichment accuracy and response selection accuracy, respectively. For profile enrichment accuracy, we can see that first, COMEM can effectively enrich user profiles by inferring the missing values. Um, because we can see the prediction results is very well. And second, we can see that for each component of the uh, UPE generally has a positive effect on the performance. Since most of the um, PEA will uh, decrease when we remove these uh, components. For uh, response selection accuracy, we can see that first, 
the performance decrease is generally by removing any component of a UPE. And second, we observed that for information resources, that is neighbor profile, current profile, uh, neighbor dialogue, and current dialogue, um, have different effects under different profile discard ratios, and they are complementary for good performance. After that, we also studied the effect of different uh, profile attributes and found that um, each attribute works well in isolation. Here we can see the results in this line. This means only remain one of the attributes. And second, we observed that different type of attributes depend on each other differently. So they are complementary for each other. To conclude, we have a three contribution in this work. Uh, first, we propose a novel practical task that is personalized the task only dialogue system um, with incomplete user profiles. And second, um, we propose a novel model called MemNet with cooperative interactive modules, which can enrich user profiles gradually as the dialogue goes on. And um, to promote the response selection based on the enriched profile simultaneously. Last but not least, uh, the extensive experiments has proved that uh, CommandNet significantly outperformed the state art baselines and especially works very well uh, in incomplete user profile settings. The limitation of this work is that we only test the command model on one data set because we cannot find out other data sets working on this scenario. And for future work, uh, we're thinking about to do some experiments on more data sets and explore whether it is possible to improve the performance by leveraging the non-personalized TDS data sets. Thanks for your attention. We have released our updated paper and code so feel free to use it and contact me by email if you're interested in this work. Thanks.